Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, so let's thank our member real quickly. Uh, thank you, uh, the full crew member of Erlending 11B, all the Fox by members, Silami, Astropub, Diaf, Justin Field, Yush, Igor, Lafush, Commander Frosty and his end Viana, and all the Fish by members. Make sure to be a member if you want to help the channel, it helps a lot, so yeah, make sure to subscribe as well and let's get into so, it. So yeah, today we are flying out the Mirage 2000C, the new top tier aircraft. Uh, of the French Tech 3, it is the not the first variant as I thought it would be added. You know, we got the C5, which is a basically a modification from 1987 onwards. You know, so it is a little bit better in uh, in some in various aspects actually. But uh, the main things are basically two of them, uh, which are the engine and the um, the radar. Okay, it also has more chaff and flares and stuff like that, but the main thing is these two things that we saw, you know. Uh, it uses the 530D, so the Super 530D, which is completely different from the Super 530F, okay. It has a really good range. Uh, it, it is comparable to the R24 and the M7F. Uh, the range on the M7F will be a little bit better, and I think in some areas the R24 is a little bit better as well, just because of the acceleration of the Super 530D. So the 530D has more range than the, the R24R in, in general, you know, uh, but and it tends to turn better than the R24R. But the only thing is that because of the acceleration, the way it works, the R24R just accelerates to ma its max speed very, very quickly. And with that, it can pull the Gs and with the buff, uh, with the AOA of the things being able to pull 2.5 times the amount that it pulled before on the R24, it makes it a better missile in shorter ranges. I, I still think it's the king of the short range, the R24R. Uh, but still, uh, the Super 530D is up there being one of the best missiles in the game. I really want to make a proper video with it. Uh, just testing it out, all the missiles I want to make a proper video with it, but I didn't have the time yet. But yeah, don't expect it to be the, the same as in the 530F, okay? It, it has a way to just ignore flares and chaff, okay? The chaff, you know? So it is completely different, it turns better, it has more energy, it is just a proper missile, okay? The 530F still is kind of problematic, you know, because of the chaff, but the Super 530D, it is very, very good. Uh, so yeah, and together with the Raider, let's talk a little bit about the Raider as well. The Raider is amazing. Obviously, if you compare it to like a MiG-29, a 15 and stuff like that, a Su-27, it will not be that powerful, okay? It is very much comparable to the very early variants of the MiG-29. So the maximum amount of distance that I actually detected a guy was ab around 80 kilometers, but I think it could be a little bit better depending on the uh, size of the target. And I think it's it's around 100 kilometers, just like the other Raiders that I told you about. So it is way better than the MiG-23. Um, very, I mean, a little bit better than the Vegan, and similarly to uh, an F-14. F-14 is superior still in the range. But the technology here in this radar is way superior than the radar on the F-14. So against notching and cranking and stuff like that, the radar is way better. Obviously, we are using the RDI radar, which is the radar uh, of the 1987 variant, as I said. Uh, so it is just a very, very, very good radar, okay? And uh, it has TWS, it is fully pull-stopper, you know. Uh, normally, you can use the normal modes for just notching people uh, for people that are notching you and stuff like that and don't get me wrong it has problems against notching is not uh, like completely fault proof against that but I don't think any post operator will ever be right so yeah in general it is just uh, this type of more modern raiders okay it's more of a vegan or a Kai raider than any other raider that we see but to be honest I think it's the most modern raider that we have in game uh, in sensitivity against notching, in having the TWS in range, and it's just very, very easy to use. It's a very good radar, okay? It's a very, very good radar. Together with the Super 530D, it becomes a very potent weapon, okay, guys? It is very dangerous. 
it is very hard to evade those missiles uh, apart from when they are really close to you sometimes uh, compared to other other missiles uh, you are probably going to see some uh, aspects of that of that you know but uh, as you see here the F-14 just cannot out turn the missile and he was trying uh, obviously we are flying really high here so it's just a matter of he's not going to be able to actually do that okay so these two things the Super 530D together with this RDI radar it becomes a very very potent weapon okay uh, these are my first impressions of the game you will see me dying a little bit there because I am still getting used to the aircraft it's completely different from the normal aircraft that I normally fly like the MiG-23, MiG-21 stuff like that that I normally enjoy flying it more but it is uh, it has its unique features okay uh, but just to end it up talking about the weapon systems uh, of course we have the magic 2 which is remember they all have the same quote-unquote ECM, uh, ECM um, feature okay so they all have the same flare resistance okay it's I am calling ECM because that's why uh, that's uh, what Gaijin calls it but basically the sensitivity to flares is the same between these three missiles the magic 2 the R60M and the A9L, okay? They are coded the same. The one thing that it changes from one to another is the actual um, FOV of the missile. Obviously, missiles that have a smaller FOV will be able to pull a little bit less, especially initially, but they will have more flare resistance, okay? That's the case in the A9L, that's the case with the Magic 2, okay? So it is a little bit, just a tiny bit flare resistant um, so on those occasions that you are firing at a very hot target that the guy doesn't take too much of the power and even with the flares it will go to the target but it is not by any means fault proof it, e it will go for flares it likes some flares like any other missiles in, in the game okay um, but yeah uh, comparing to other missiles the magic 2 I think the acceleration is pretty amazing it's a little bit better than the R60 if I'm not mistaken but the R60 still has the ability to use the FOV and its fins to actually do a very good shot like uh, that shot that I did right there it was a very bad shot not saying that the R60M would hit that but it, if you do that shot with the R60M you will see that it initially turns better than the Magic 2 okay so for short ranges I still think the R60M is superior to all the missiles uh, and the M9L compared to the Magic 2 will have the range uh, even though it has a very low acceleration compared to the Magic 2 so the Magic 2 will out, out, out accelerate the M9L in every single occasion uh, but still with that the Magic 2 will have its problems against uh, like longer ranger uh, range uh, engagements so the M9L would be uh, in the spectrum of range would be the, in the far uh, like range stuff you know in the more uh, good in a more range stuff and people that are cold from you and stuff like that the r60 would be for a more dogfight stuff situation you know when you really need to shoot in weird way angles and stuff like that and the magic 2 to be honest it's a mix between them you know you will have better range than r60 but lower than the a9l you will um, turn worse than the r60 but it will um, turn faster a little bit in the M9L. In general, this is the idea. At flare resistance, I think it's very similar to the M9L. It's probably a bit better because of the FOV, as, as I said, but not by much. Uh, they are way better than the R60M due to the FOV as well, okay? These are the missiles. So it's a very, 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 very good combination, guys. It's amazing. I love these four missiles that you can use, and it is just effective. That's the world the word you know the matchmaking right now it's kind of difficult to get very good matches uh, because the teams are very bad or they're very good so the, the matches uh, they are over in four minutes three minutes so I had to like record five matches to get a 15 minute video so yeah it's uh, complicated you know so it's two to three minutes the normal combat arena and we together with taking off and stuff it's a very short match you know so yeah um, the cannons, obviously we have the DEFA 554s, for me they are completely trash, to be honest, I really don't like the 30mm DEFA Zadens and stuff like that, they are way too slow, the muzzle velocity is disgusting and uh, the um, 
rate of fire rate of fire is all right don't have a range i mean they barely can keep up with a one kilometer shot so not that you're going to use it too much but it's a slow firing gun and i really don't like the guns okay i really don't it's not a like a vulcan it's it's not a 30 millimeter uh, russian one so yeah it's not that good okay i still prefer the 23 millimeter to be honest uh, the russian B gsh 23 so yeah normally uh we get to the point before we talk about the performance in flight uh, we are going to talk a little bit of its downsides uh, i talked about it all the weaponry and stuff like that and this is the major downside of this aircraft okay he only carry four missiles if he could carry uh, like the mirage uh, 2005f for example they carry like six super 530 d's and mikas and stuff like that that would be amazing so in the future once we receive uh, a new missile or a new aircraft, a new version of the Mirage 2000, this problem will be solved. But right now in this, it, you really have to be careful with your shots because it, you really don't have the amount of missiles uh, to use, you know. You still have the two radar guided missiles just like a MiG-23, but only having two uh, IR guided ones. It becomes a, a little bit of a situation that normally you will get two to three kills, normally, at max, at with the missiles. And then, I mean, not that you need more than that, but normally you get one to two kills with the missiles, and then you will just be on the guns. And then we get to the, I mean, the guns already said that I don't like them, and we get to the performance of it, because uh, on the performance side of the aircraft and the flight performance, you really, really will need the performance if you are going to use the cannon. So eventually, at late matches, you will end up having to use the performance of the aircraft. And what is it? Okay, so, yeah, it is a very fast aircraft, okay? It's not slow by any means, but it is not amazing in acceleration, okay? Normally, try to use 20 minutes of fuel. I only use 30 minutes when you are in a larger match because it is a very fuel-efficient aircraft, to be honest. I think it's... Um, I have to check, but, I mean, as you see on the screen right now, it's consuming, uh, consuming 350 kilograms per minute. That's like less than half of the amount of uh, that the vegan produces uh, consumes you know producing kind of the same power so that's the event the, the advantage of having a, a, a turbofan engine obviously the vegan also has a low bypass turbofan but still uh, this engine is very very efficient okay so you don't have to carry too much weight uh, because if you get 30 minutes you will be heavy okay I, you can feel the difference uh, another thing that I really want to talk about is that, yes, it can pull very good AOAs, okay? 20 plus degrees, uh, as you see here, uh, with these slats open, okay? But there is a catch. These slats don't open if you are not slow enough, like any slats in real life. But the problem is that normally in these type of engagements, you will end up having problems with speed so you will need to manage your speed okay you will need to use air brakes you, you need to lose power because it is a very efficient aircraft remember it's a delta wing so it doesn't like to lose speed it just likes to, to fly like a like a very good aircraft so uh, just remember that you really need to manage the energy of these aircraft okay you really do uh, i'm being honest here uh, because if you don't you will end up having troubles with opening the slats and if you don't open the slats this aircraft becomes a bus you can test this out if even in a test flight you can just try to fly above a thousand kilometers per hour for example and try to turn as hard as you can the aircraft turns like an f-104 okay so without the, the slats you will not turn so remember that you re that's a very important thing because if you don't remember that you will lose every single dogfight that you face you really need to lose your energy and it's a very powerful aircraft so it doesn't i mean even though it loses a lot of energy it's not like the mirage 3 okay it's l a lot better in the energy um, uh, department you know uh, in the retention of energy that the aircraft have so yeah solved a lot of problems this is the perfect delta wing to be honest uh, i still prefer this to the vegan uh, but mainly because of the weapon systems, uh, because the Vegan, I mean, even though it, it, you should be using the M9L, uh, but even with the M9L, I mean, the radar and the 
the radar missiles would be better in the Mirage 2000. But in the dogfight, I mean, the aircraft is amazing. It's really amazing. But you really have to be careful with that, okay, guys? So manage your airspeed, lower your airspeed below 950. You will be good to go to actually get speed again. So don't you worry about that. The engine is strong. It goes, I mean, I'm pulling 120 kilonewtons here almost. And the optimal conditions, it can pull a lot more than this. It's not like a MiG-23 kind of power, but still, it is very, very powerful. It's a very, very powerful engine. Um, so, yeah, it's something that you have to always uh, think of, okay? Energy management, remember that you have a low count of missiles, uh, but the missiles are very effective. Use your radar, use the TWS, it is very, very good for situational awareness, especially initially and especially in simulator battles. So, yeah, it's an amazing aircraft. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and this was it, the kind of a review of the Mirage 2000. I will be doing a lot more videos on the Mirage, obviously, uh, simulator including. Uh, there are some changes there, obviously, as well. But yeah, this is the first video that I wanted to make, okay? So I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos um, in the upcoming days. So subscribe and be a member if you want to help the channel. So yeah, see you guys on the next one and bye guys, see ya.